The advancing practice in signed spoken language interpreting at Queen Margaret University has been designed to be delivered online and has been delivered that way since we started it in September 2017. It's been created by interpreters for interpreters and uh, is delivered by interpreters who are experienced professionals who are still actively working as interpreters. So it's very much grounded in the reality of the interpreting profession. This course is designed for sign language interpreters living anywhere in the world, but sign language interpreters who have experience, so they're experienced professional interpreters. In countries like the UK where we have registration for sign language interpreters, we would expect applicants to have got at least three years of experience post-registration, but we obviously know that not all countries have registration, and so uh, interpreters coming from those countries would just need to have a minimum of three years professional interpreting experience. So this programme is a little bit different from initial interpreter training programmes. It's designed for interpreters who are practising professionals, they're out there working and been registered for a number of years. And so it's not a focus on the language skills, um, those may well develop during your time on the course, but it's much more of a focus on your ability to practice in a reflective way. So our module content is heavily influenced by the theory of demand control schema. Um, we take a practice profession approach to the realities of interpreting work and we have special input from Dr Robin Dean um, on the course. And actually the practice profession approach sits really well with the other courses that are delivered here at Queen Margaret University with other allied health professionals um, and other practice professions. Well, this course is really designed to provide meaningful CPD or continuing professional development for experienced interpreters because that's something that we know is, is missing, certainly within the UK. What students on our programme and modules also get though is accredited learning. So each of our modules is 20 credits at master's level and if you do three modules you can graduate with a postgraduate certificate. Um, you can go on to do a postgraduate diploma if you study for six modules and some of our students want to do uh, an MSc and get an MSc award and that's six modules plus a dissertation. So if students take the full MSc, they'll first study two core modules in theory and practice of interpreting and then we have a number of elective modules they can choose from in different specialist domains of interpreting. For example, healthcare, mental health care, justice settings, education, arts and culture, employment and we also have another module on supportive practice. So that's for students who maybe want to look at how they can work with their colleagues, be supportive, be a mentor, um, work as a supervisor um, and actually anyone can study any of these modules if you only want to take one. They're all available to study individually um, or people can choose the domains that work best for them. And we know that interpreters will also be working full time as practitioners while they study this. So they can take these modules over a number of years. Um, people have up to seven years to complete the MSc. So they can do one module per year for CPD and at the end of it they'll have an academic qualification. Well this online course is very flexible really. So students can just join us for one module if they wish um, or they can join us for the whole MSc programme. Students who join for one module can obviously change their mind later on and upgrade to registration for the programme too. And what students do is they study for one module per semester. So semester one runs from September to December, Se semester two runs from January to April, and students will only do a maximum of one module per semester. When you're studying an online module with us, you'll have access to our virtual learning environment and on there you'll have all the content material for the module. Um, you'll have asynchronous weekly activities to do. You also have weekly synchronous sessions. So you'll have tutorials, peer group sessions and also access to our library and the academic material that's out there, the most recent research um, that's relevant for your practice. And it allows you to do that really detailed focused reflection um, on your own work.